Welcome, Travelers, Champions, Heroes, and Villains, to the adventure. Last we left off, we cleared out the vast majority of Area 3. I've decided to forego the treasure pile. And we are going to take our Blood Mage to the Legendary Encounter, number 3. Potentially make us to the finale. We got the Mist Bearer. This encounter is divided into four distinct phases. Pay attention to the enemy statuses and intents. We will do that. We will promote. Also, if we eat our minions, they don't get eaten anymore. They just get reduced down to level 2. Uh, yeah, let's reduce our enemy's armor. Right now, he loses 2 HP per turn, 2%. Has 100% damage this phase. Every hit reduces the target's damage by 20% the next turn. Uh, let's do a blood prep. Abomination's good. Uh, let's promote you. So we're already at three. I think we'll save those as much as we can. Make an offering. So as long as our golem stays good and we can keep our offerings good, we can keep getting a bunch of health and not have to deal. Is he immune to stuns? He is not. So I'm feeling a paralysis. A grim worm. Be excellent. And maybe blood prep this turn. Uh, you know what I think we do. I kinda wish I'd got some of the things that kind of help my guys like every turn. Let's see, we got offering promotion life breather. Um he's level four already, level three. You know what? We'll activate the worm to help reduce uh yeah, armor. If I can think properly. Let's see. Uh we're good at the moment. Let's offer up a little more health again, synergy. You know what? That'll get us a Fey. And then I can activate you and then sacrifice you. Which ought to be good for next turn. Just pumping our golem back down to level 2. And let's target. Oh, it also does it whenever they would overcharge, like, no matter if I do it or they don't. Oh! That's outstanding. I thought I had to physically do it. That's... That's a game changer. That is a game changer. So, promoting things is, like, the best idea now. It's actually pretty nice. We can eat for health again next turn if we need to. It's just losing armor left, right, and center. You'd love to see it. Tainted force. Reduced damage by 75% this turn. Not a big deal. Now let's activate you again. I kind of feel like, yeah, just activate everybody. Negated, negated, negated. Is that because he's... In effect preventing an burning stun will cause loss of 25. Invulnerability can't be damaged while stunned. Okay. That's fine. I think it's because he's entering a different phase. It's all fine. Just whack, 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 whack. Sure. Redirect over there. You know what? Let's throw a little barrier on Magolan. I don't really need any of that. 
So we will actually quote eat our golem, but put him keep him at level two. Love seeing a uh, huge chunk of health come back. Oh, he hired a different cultist, and I didn't even see it. I believe you are quite dead, though, dude. <laughs> yeah. That went really well. That, uh, makes me feel very confident for the next fight, although it's supposed to be the, quote, true boss, so. It feels like an echo of something that happened before. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take the heart, because that's the last of the hearts we need. Let's go back to the village. Should be able to do the special boss. Let's see if uh, Candlemaker's got anything good, good for you. us. I don't really need to buy any more candles because we're here. Um, I have related upgrades. Increases healing power. Damage boosts. Good there. What can I do? Upgrade your abilities. Because we have random passives, which is pretty sweet. I kind of want to try that out. Buy a passive. Every minion starts with 15 barrier. It's not the worst thing. Hey, we can get another one. Sure. All blood golems are promoted after being summoned. Also nice. So he starts at level 2 when I just first get him. Love to see it. I don't know if that'll help or hinder us in this final fight, but hopefully it's not gonna hinder us. Let's see if the blacksmith. blacksmith. Buy runestones. I'm kind of at a low point. Get every time you merge runestones. Okay, that's where we're getting them. Correct, 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 correct. Uh, can't quite get enough, so let's we'll bail over here, check the master at arms, get new cards, remove cards, upgrade your skills. And we can't really do anything. So here we go. The crumbling men here. Kind of screaming. It's creepy. Burn the hearts of the guardians. Summon the true boss. Well, nothing to do it, but to do it. You did it. Congratulations. Is it the ghost? You can tell that the goat is anxious to see what happens next. I am too. There's only one tiny problem that I kind of forgot to mention. You see. Of course there is. <laughs> This thing that you're about to face, let's call it the essence, is a rather important part of this world. It is responsible for its own corruption. Cool. Yes. But is it also responsible for a lot of other things? Probably. I have no idea. So, to be honest, you'll actually be the first to find out what <laughs> happens when you kill it. Good luck. So, like, reset everything if I kill it? I mean... Damage dealt zero. It just has unlimited health. Corporeal form. Four dweller bends reality to manifest its physical form before you. Deals powerful attacks which break targets armor in every hit. Every turn buffs its armor and boosts its damage. Damage boosts are more powerful with each turn in this form. Wrath of Unknown. The fight will automatically end after 15 turns. Survive. Oh. Well, I mean, if that's the case, let's get more golems. <laughs> and let's throw down some existence. I kind of almost like, if we just need to survive, let's get a Blood Fay out here. Get some barrier up on us. Let's do this. Like, if I just need to be tanky as crap, <laughs> tanky as crap we can be. his armor. Weirdness Breach. To switch between corporeal and spectral forms. 
Do I need to deal damage in this? Or... Like, I'm confused, but... I think we're good at this moment. But here, let me activate you so I can get a bunch of extra charge. Let's double activate, because why not? And I guess we'll call that a turn. Like, I don't feel like I'm going to do a lot of damage to this. But I also don't know if I'm supposed to. Um. Do I have a sacrifice? Nope. Let's preach. Promote you. See if that actually does what I think it's gonna do. It does. Let's draw a bunch of cards. It's all Mother's Blessing on myself. Let's uh, throw down a marking on you just to get rid of it. you down. Heal up the guys. Let's just throw down another barrier on myself. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold up. Ooh. Sorry, I... Just cranked up the game volume on myself. Almost deafened myself. It was quite... Quite a thing. So. I guess that's the end of that turn for now. Weirdness Discharge. Only available when facing the Ford Dweller. Oh, we have to... Paralysis. Search useless decks into your card. Great. So, let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. I need something to destroy or sacrifice one of my guys with. Let's eat you again. To 34. Probably gonna have to switch your form here in a minute. Blood Rush. Activate all minions. Promote Weirdness Breach. Let's force him to switch. I don't know what that does. Spectral Form. Summons new visages and places a barrier on them and himself every turn steals all enemies' armor and boosts damage dealt by his own allies. Okay. Okay. Evade all minions. I guess I should have eaten first. Let's promote you, because why not? It's dark right here. Let's eat. There's no point in that. Okay, let's get something that sacrifices, because this is this is getting silly. Offering. Sacrifice a minion, excellent. Uh, actually, I would love to eat you and gain a whole bunch of damage. Let's get some enemies. I don't need another Blood Fae. Everybody. 
keep everybody nice and happy. Let's ritual you. Let's make a further barrier on me. Because why not? <laughs> Damage dealt. Nothing. Need to get some of the uh jeez. Okay. Okay. Dark right, virtual bear. You guys are giving me like the crappiest freaking cards every time, man. Jeez. 30, 30, 30, 30. Times nine. Uh -huh. Dark rides the worm. Sure. Ritual the worm. Paralysis on you. I hope that keeps my golem alive. Like, I hope I didn't just bone myself. Uh, I need to switch his form real bad. blood a ritual a foot um uh yeah we're gonna have to you to some extraordinary capacity, which it didn't. I figured that would heal him. This is not going to end the well. We have eight more turns to go. Okay, give us a golem. Give us a golem. Okay. Got a golem. Uh, let's, let's see what we get here. Blood Abomination. Alright, let's use a worm. Let's... You know what? I would love to promote you. So we can get a bunch of that going. It's so much barrier! Ugh. Okay, so I guess I should have probably left him in the uh, corporeal form. That was good to know. Come on, give me blood prep. One goal is better than nothing. Uh, promote you. Dark rights you. Activate two random minions. I'm hopeful that one of them. So I'll do one attack for what? 200% damage to all enemies. I think we got it. Okay. That's two down. I think our golem might still die again, but that's that's a solid, solid turn. Oh, the golem lived. Acid blood on you. Let's see if we can get another golem or something. No. Let's 
bump you up. Um, I feel we gotta get another blood abomination out. And then just activate everybody. Charges for two hundred percent. Um, I'm like, do I throw out the blood fay to give it an extra target? I think we do. Um, yeah, give me some more barrier. Let's overcharge the crud out of that. I've <laughs> dealt 24 damage. We got four more turns. Okay. That worked out. That worked out. Uh, Blood Golem, yes. Of you. Promote a random minion and activate it. It could be quite useful. We're going to. It's fine. It's ritual. blood prep, but there's really no reason to do that. Let's get some stuff out there. Should be good. 4 times 23. Oof. Oof. Okay, I don't know where that second hit came from. Uh, blood prep. Golem. Yes. Protection. Promotion. back down so that we can get back a lot of health. In fact, I'm going to dug some potions just in case. And let's get that out there. I think we might finally kill that one down the end. Oh, jeez. So much barrier. So much unnecessary barrier. Uh, give me a golem. Yes! Just keep giving me them golems as I need it. I love it. Uh, existence. Uh, promote. ourselves some barrier and let's you know, just, there we go that's one more down 
more turns does he have? One more. Okay, so we got this, it's like, last turn, right? They finally did some damage to it, too. We were victorious. Victorious. Overwhelming silence. Then, after what feels like an eternity, Goat man. a familiar voice. No, oh. we can't have that. Death snaps its bony fingers. The monster you slew returns to life. Serious? It growls angrily, but suddenly disappears before it can attack. What? It's hard to tell. You get the sense that death is disappointed. I told you that slaying the four guardians would lead you to your destination. The goat materializes out of nowhere and hovers in the air above you, clearly unable to move. He looks absolutely terrified. Oh. But instead of telling me that you've achieved your goal, my servant decided to act on his own initiative and push you in this direction. He's got a great voice. This violates every single rule we have. Not to mention that it also negates the plan we crafted for this world. Uh, I don't understand. I already told you before, this reality is governed by a simple story. It's good versus evil. And in every story, beyond every evil deed, there is a cause. You humans never speak about these causes. They're not important in the stories you tell yourselves. Defeating a monster, check. Killing a god, check. <laughs> Leaving home, check. And yet, these are easy solutions which never address the root cause of the issue. But you're not interested in causes. You're interested in simple relief. And that relief lies in the knowledge that good will prevail eventually. Hopefully. Simple stories have simple causes. In this one, the root of corruption was in the monster you slew. Instead of fighting the symptoms, as stories demand, and as I've instructed you, <laughs> you went ahead and addressed the real cause. You solved the problem. If I didn't intervene, this world would have come to an end. And we can't have that. Not yet. Okay. So, what's next? I'm going to change a couple of things in your story. Uh -oh. Death looks up to the sky. Perhaps it's thinking about something. After some time, it speaks. From now on, every hero trying to save their reality, just like you, will be able to face this monster. You can keep training with the Avalonian, or decide to fight this creature. I'll make sure that you see how you compare with other warriors. Oh, there's the leaderboard. But from now on, your main goal will be to free every soul you meet in this reality from corruption. When you've done hmm. that, we can talk. Interesting. And we did it on difficulty level two, so we're we're making progresses. We I think those are the last two characters we unlocked. Oh, maybe three. Is there f how many more characters were there? I thought there was only like two left. Got the Necromancer. I am totally okay with that. Necromancers are always usually pretty cool. I assume there'll be a minion related class as well. Force field, create 10 barrier, and that's just an ability. Okay. Conversion at the start of each turn. The minion increases his damage by 25% and loses 20 armor. That's actually kind of cool because if you're not using like a golem or something, like just your damaging class ones, the golem just eats it all. So your minion is just getting stronger and stronger every turn. That's a cool card. And shockwave deal one hit for 150% damage. I mean, it's it's there. Blood supply while you have full HP, double all overcharge effects. Like how do I have full HP? Is blood page. 
Total death. Whenever a minion dies, deal one hit for 75% damage to all enemies. That's not bad. The apostate. They look real sickly unless it's just like facial armor. These cards and passes will be added more. Corrosive burst. Sacrifice a minion. Permanently reduce armor of all enemies by 20. That's cool. I do love reducing armor. Overdose. At the start of each turn, the minion increases its damage by 100% and permanent loses 30% of its max HP. That could also be good, like the uh, armor reducing one, because technically, even 30%, even if you're at 1, unless you get to 1 and it just decides to round up and kill your character, it would just be quite powerful. Unstoppable Strength activates selected minion 0 times, 1 activation for each minion currently in combat. Okay. So that could be like four activations. More passives. Bloodworms overcharge. Upgrade. Bloodworm deals one additional hit. That's cool. Squeezed out. Blood abominations overcharge ability. Blood abomination deals one additional hit. That's excellent. Those blood abominations are awesome. We getting outfits now? I think we are. These cards and passives will be upgraded for more. Wild summon. Three. Summon one golem. Worm, Abomination, and Fae lose two energy next turn. That's pretty nice, though. Draw one card for every minion currently in combat. Not bad. Magic Wind, offer 10% of your max HP. Activate all minions. Ability. That's pretty sick. We've saved one soul. Who did we save? We're still down one recruiter. We are placed 1,572 on the leaderboard, with our best being 115 damage <laughs> to the true <Drew> boss. <laughs> awesome. Right, we need to save a bunch of other souls and recruit one more villager. And we discovered a bunch of stuff. And there we go. We can rest now, warrior. We can stay there forever, or go deeper into the weirdness to explore its mystery. I think that's a great place to take a break in the corner. Uh, congratulations to us. We defeated the true boss. We saved one soul. I don't know if that means us. Because I figured what we needed to do was to save other characters. Although it might mean uh, we have to do it once with each of the individual classes if there's 13 of them. I don't know if there are, but that would also make sense. But, I guess we'll find out when we venture ever deeper to the Tainted Grail, because I'm still loving this game. And I will see you all again in the next adventure. Bye for now.